Guys, this is how to never forget the splitting of heart sounds. You just need to think of a plunger on the chest. But first remember that S1 is the sound made by the closure of the mitral and tricuspid valve, whereas S2 is for the aortic and pulmonary valve. For splitting, we need to focus on S2, and you need to understand the difference between expiration and inspiration. This is where the plunger will come in. Splitting is when we hear both components of S2, and physiological splitting is caused by delayed closure of the pulmonary valve. But why is it delayed? Breathing in is like putting a plunger on your chest. The ribcage expands and the lower pressure sucks bloods from the veins and the legs and the arms, which means more blood is sucked into the right atrium, increasing venous return to the right side of the heart. The greater preload means that the pulmonary valve stays open longer, and this is why physiological splitting occurs in inspiration. Let's go into the three other splittings you need to know for your medical exams. Fixed splitting means there's splitting in inspiration and expiration, but it sounds the same both times. The classic cause is atrial septal defect. Let's move the plunger. A wide split also has splitting in inspiration and expiration, but like normal splitting, it gets wider in inspiration. Think of conditions which continuously overload that right ventricle, like pulmonary stenosis and a right bundle branch block. Paradoxical split is opposite to normal. It happens when the aortic valve closes late, in conditions like aortic stenosis or a left bundle branch block. I hope that helps. If you want to study medicine smarter, then like and follow for more.